Oh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. At about uh, 1.30 this afternoon, police were called uh, to an address in Elm Street, Campbelltown, uh, as a result of report of uh, 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 gunshots uh, being fired. Um, as a result of uh, uh, police attending, uh, I can tell you that uh, there have been two uh, women uh, seriously injured. Uh, they've subsequently been uh, taken to hospital. Uh, and as you can see, we are currently uh, uh, cordoning uh, uh, an address on Elm Street uh, to speak to the occupant uh, there. I can say that all of the people uh, involved in this incident are known to each other. This is not a random incident. Um, and the situation is still unfolding. Uh, as to what occurred and why it occurred, uh, uh, but we are looking for a safe resolution to it uh, and attempting to speak to the occupant as we go forward. Um, I'm happy to take any questions uh, relative to uh, what's occurred, uh, noting that uh, it is still an active matter um, uh, and we're still uh, trying to resolve it. Uh, so there's uh, only limited details I can provide at this point in time, so uh, the investigation or, or our attempts to speak to the person are not compromised. Are there two women related to the gunman? Are they family members? Um, I, I'm, I'm of the understanding they are related. Um, uh, I won't be going into a, as to what relationship they are, but uh, as I say, all parties are known to each other uh, 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 and they are related, yes. And so both of those women have been shot? Um, Th they've received injuries as a result uh, of, of, of the firearms incident. Um, I don't have precise details uh, relative to that, uh, but I think it's safe to say that both have received uh, 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 gunshot wounds. Well, were they both taken to the Royal Adelaide and are they undergoing surgery at the moment? No, I don't have those details, I'm sorry. Have you been able to contact the man inside? Uh, we are attempting to speak to that person at the moment. There have been some. Uh, there has been some communication uh, with him, um, but uh, at this point, that's all uh, I, I really want to go into. There, um, uh, you know, suffice to say that we have uh, a lot of people here, very well trained uh, in um, you know negotiating and speaking to people. Uh, uh, so we are looking for uh, for a um, you know a safe uh, resolution to this matter. Is he currently alone in the house? Uh, we suspect that he is alone, yes. Is the communication with police what led to the two women being released from the home, removed from the home? Uh, no. F from the detail that I do have at this point in time, uh, the incident occurred, uh, the, the shots were fired, uh, and then the police were called as a result of those shots being fired. Did the incident begin on the street or in the house that you've got those details? No, I don't have those details, sorry. And so the man... Um, yeah, no, none of, no weapons have been recovered at this point in time. So, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, you know, this is an extremely dangerous situation. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we have a lot of police here to make sure that everybody uh, is safe. Um, uh, we have uh, evacuated several houses uh, nearby. Uh, so, uh, you know, it is very well contained uh, to the house. Um, so I can assure the people that are in uh, the, the immediate area, uh, they are safe um, and, and uh, you, you know, we'll be doing everything we can to safely resolve the incident. Can you tell us more about the police response and the resources that you've taken at the scene? Um, as you can see, uh, uh, the police that have attended, we have both specialist um, um, star group members, uh, we have um, uh, our investigators, CIB, uh, general patrols, uh, traffic, uh, everybody is here uh, to make sure that, um, you know, one, uh, the, the situation is safely resolved and it's contained. Um, so we've got, uh, uh, at, you know, adequate resourcing and the right people here uh, to assist in the investigation. Uh, when we, you know, as I say, uh, you know, we are looking for uh, the occupant of that address to come out. Uh, and to surrender to police because um, we really do need uh, to speak to him as, as to what's occurred here. Are these two women adults? Uh, yes, they are. Can you tell us their ages? Uh, 
Not at this point in time. If the um, gunman is watching any of this, do you have a message for him? Ab absolutely. Uh, what, what I can say uh, to the person uh, involved in this is that um, we would like that person to come out, uh, to uh, come out with their hands up, follow the instructions of the police. Um, they will be uh, safe uh, and, and um, um, safely handled from there on in, you know. Uh, we don't want anybody else injured. Uh, we don't want anybody else threatened. Uh, we don't want any other uh, um, um, forms of violence or whatever to, uh, to occur. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, we, we've got a lot of people here. Um, um, uh, you know, we, we are just want to make sure that it's safely resolved uh, as quickly and as safely as we can possibly uh, make it. So, so my advice uh, to that person is just please come out uh, and just follow the directions of the police and, and uh, you'll be safe, uh, uh, safely handled from there. Was this man already known to police? Um, we do have knowledge of him, um, but I won't be going any further as to how we know him uh, um, and, and why. Everybody. And his age, sorry? Um, I believe he's around 51 years of age. And for the locals and people around here waiting to get back into their home, um, what's your message to them just to wait for instructions and when it's safe? Look, I, I would just ask everybody to be patient. Uh, this is, as I've said earlier, it's, it's a dangerous situation. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody is safe and that includes people, uh, um, you know, in nearby premises and the like. So these are not things that can be rushed. Um, so I just ask them to be patient um, and as soon as further details occur or, or, or there's a change in, in any of the circumstances or whatever, we'll endeavour to uh, communicate to them, um, you know, so, so that they have a, a clear understanding as to what's going on. We're good, everybody. Yeah, um, we've got one final question. Do you, um, can you say whether you had a firearms prohibition order out against you? I don't have any of those details at this point in time, but clearly uh, uh, those uh, those matters will be addressed in any subsequent investigation. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.